Hare Krishna. Many people on the spiritual path think that they are gods, that I am God, you are God, and we are all gods. That this idea is that, that everything is one and we all are that are manifestations of that one and thus we are all gods. Now this idea is actually not what the Bhagavad Gita teaches. Uh, the Bhagavad Gita's teaching is that we are gods with the apostrophe, apostrophe that we, we belong to God, we are his parts. And this is what uh, is declared as the state of awareness of those who are full of knowledge and free from illusion. The Bhagavad Gita states in 4.35 Yad Gyatvana Punar Moham Evam Yasasi Pandava Yena Bhutanya Sheshani Rakshasyatmanya Thomai Yad Gyatva That knowing in this way, with this spiritual knowledge from the spiritual master as is described in this previous verse Na Punar Moham you will never fall again into illusion. Evam yasasi pandava As you have come now Arjun. Yena <clears> bhutanya sheshani In this way you will see all living beings. Drakshasya atmanya thomai You will see them all as being in me and as in as mine and in me. So Krishna doesn't say that you will see all living beings as me. As being in me and as mine. Drakshasya atmanya atomai. We'll see them all spiritually as my parts. This is reiterated later in 15.7. Krishna says, Mamai vam show jiva loke jiva bhuta sanatanaha. That we are all his eternal parts. So the difference between a terrible misunderstanding where we imagine ourselves to be gods and the notion, understanding that we are belong to God, we are gods, it apostrophes, is, the, is an apostrophe. And that missed apostrophe can be a catastrophe because it can deprive us of a life of eternal love for Krishna and of a life of eternal joy in that relationship. And it can propel us into an illusion where we stay deprived of Krishna's love and we offend Krishna imagining ourselves to be equal to him and thus condemn ourselves. So to avoid this uh, catastrophe, we need to put in that apostrophe in relating ourselves with Krishna. Thank you. Hare Krishna.